Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Account, and welcome back to the channel. I know the upload's a little bit late today, but I just want to take a general look at where this market is headed because we have a big promo on the horizon. We have a lot of SPCs out right now and no content like releasing that we know of. We have no promo that's going on right now. We're just kind of waiting for that next promo. The market's kind of all over the place. SBC stuff is going up. It feels like a lot of stuff is on thin ice though, like meta cards, cards that people are using for their teams. We take a look at some prices. There is some stuff that has dropped a little bit. And I just want to take a general look at where I feel like this is going over the next couple of days with a promo slash flip birthday coming soon. We're hoping for loading screens. It just feels like we're all waiting for the next promo right now. And since we had a nice bounce back on the market from last week, I wonder what's going to happen with a big time promo like for birthday coming up. So just a little update for me, what I have been doing. I bought the stuff on Sunday night. Uh, the Zola was a small tax loss, but the rest of this were nice flips. This Benzema was bought at 319,000 coins. And that card, honestly, I should have held on to. He's back to 380. Um, Diada was a nice flip. Shaw was a nice flip. I still have this Sancho that I got at 1.11 mil. And I was hoping that he would rise up towards the upgrade, which he really isn't doing that much. But that's kind of what's the most hyped right now. If you guys bought some cards on Sunday night, they are rising up a little bit. I mean, you had that Benzema. You've got Berchiche, who's guaranteed the upgrade. And that's just kind of where the hype is right now. And that's what cards are kind of moving up, right? People have bought some of these cards that they think might be undervalued before they get the upgrades. Like Benzema is supposed to be in Team of the Week. He's expected to be. That's why he is up. Um, again, you have guys like that Berchiche who are getting a plus two on Wednesday as well. Uh, Odegaard is up a decent amount of price because he's getting that plus two. And you, you're also, Ricardo Perea is back to 256. You're starting to see... People maybe look into some of these Road to the Final cards because we do have Road to the Final games today on Tuesday and Wednesday. So you've got City and Mucho Gladbach, Real Madrid and Atalanta. So, you know, Muriel, you know, we're looking at Hazard, who, of course, now uh, we learned yesterday has an injury. Again, that does not affect his live card technically because it's all about the uh the in-game performance of the team of Real Madrid, but I was just kind of watching that card to see if it was sold off at all. So we'll keep an eye on these today, of course, with these games that are going on. But I feel like, again, just right now with how the game is, there's a lot of hype around SBCs because people are crafting stuff that is out. And EA kind of made it clear, like, hey, if you guys want to craft, we'll let you. They put out an 82 to 88 upgrade with the new silver and bronze. So, like, Honestly, when we've seen this before, they put out Icon SBCs with these two upgrades. The content that usually comes after that seems to be a little bit more chilled because in if it's EA's way of thinking, they're like, hey, we're going to give you guys these upgrades. You can do BPM to bronze upgrade to silver upgrade to then put the non-rares in the 82 to 88. Then you can try to craft and get those fodder players to do a prime or a mid prime or craft other SBCs. So again, even though right now, like, there's not a promo going on, I feel like there's still a lot of hype around SBCs. We have a lot of SBCs that are out. Uh, we got the Busquets yesterday uh, for this card, 90 rated, 177,000 coins with the pace boost. And look at those thumbs up, man. 6,800 thumbs up in basically 23 hours, less than 23 hours of time since he was released. So there's a decent amount of people doing this SBC. 177K is something that... A lot of people can afford and an 80 pace Busquets, people want to get that. They're like, yo, this is a one of a time card. Probably never going to see a Busquets again with 80 pace. Might be one of his last special cards. I don't know what his career is going to end up looking like, but uh, GG's if you did that one, right? That's a cool card. That's a collector's item in a sense. Now, of course, we've got the Lamar and the Rudiger game that's coming on Wednesday. That SBC is out. Cavani, the party bag is still around. But just to go to show you like how fodder has gone up in the past couple of days since they released that Prime Icon pack, even though everybody like invested in SBC fodder, with all the SBCs that we have out, you have players like this Balak SBC who was 1.2 mil, actually it was even lower than this, 1.2 flat, like at its very lowest, and now uh, after the mid and prime and the prime SBC were released, this card's back up to almost 1.5 mil to complete. Now if we take a look at the... Um, Messi SBC as well. This was 1.6 mil at its absolute cheapest. He is now up to 1.9 mil. You can see this big jump uh, on, on Sunday when the Prime Icon Pack came out. A lot of the fodder market has taken a jump up and we are seeing those increased prices. Ned that was like 800k. He's now 970. So again, there's still a, a lot of coin drain 
happening on this game right now. There's a lot of coins that are being taken off the market through SBCs. But also, you're like, yo, some of these cards have really rounded, uh, bounced back too, right? Um, not necessarily Richarlison as an example. This one's actually kind of low right now. He's actually right around a million coins. But you have some cards, like some of these What If Team 2s, that even, you know, like Regulon. Regulon went from like 130,000 coins, I think is like his absolute cheapest. Uh, he is now went down to 170 after Spurs did not hold the clean sheet and he's back up to almost 190 So the, these cards are bouncing around the what-ifs are still hyped people are trading with those and a lot of them are still up, right? Mertens 900,000 coins this guy was down at um this guy was down at 620k on that Tuesday of lightning rounds during the foot player days promo So and as we look through some of these team of the weeks and we look at some of these prices They're still up right Lewandowski 450 De Jong 280 He was 300 but still pretty high compared to where he was some of the what if from team one Ricardo Perea is up Sancho's back to 119. Okay. Well Footman just had him at 113 before Smalling is 660 and Babu is almost 380 um, Conte is kind of back down. Some of these future stars, where are they at? Ansu Fati's chilling, 214. Anthony's 489. I mean, some of these cards are down a little bit, but I still feel like we're just kind of in this limbo period where people are just waiting for a promo and waiting for things to do in terms of like the next hype thing to happen on FIFA. I really feel like this stuff is going to go down. I really feel like it has to. I don't know if that's going to be today with Tuesday's content. But I feel like a lot of this stuff is going to be going down in price. Team of the years, honestly, Foot Birthday, again, is a huge promo. So once we get any sort of inclination that Foot Birthday is coming, I think you're honestly going to see a little bit of panic selling start to happen on the market because seriously, Foot Birthday is a massive promo. People remember what they have done in past years, especially last year. That's the Foot Birthday that is fresh in everybody's minds with the you know incredible content with the five-star weak foot and skill move boosts that everybody loved. And of course, you look at it this year, and you say, EA, if they do something like that again, it's gonna go crazy, right? Especially if they do like 81 player picks, or 81 plus player picks out during the promo. Um, I just don't feel like this market is gonna continue to go higher. I just don't see what is gonna make it actually go higher. I feel like a lot of the stuff has bounced back from where it was. Yes, it was very low last week when everything was being panic sold. Um, I'm not saying it goes like that low, like right away. But I'm saying that whatever today's content is, if we do get a non-tent day, like yesterday on Monday, we had no content. I know it's kind of hard to see on here, but you can see a nice rise on the icon market as things just got rare. And maybe people went out and tried some cards. Sorry, that was the index 86. But the index icon actually shows the same thing. It looks way it looks way higher of a graph of mobile because mobile graphs look always a little more scary than these uh, than the Footman web apps. But you can see 63 points yesterday around the content drop on Monday, rising all the way up to 65 and a half. Now it's back down to like 64 and a half right now, but uh, a very nice rise on the icons that they just kind of got rare and stuff. So those were great to trade with yesterday, but I do feel like a lot of this stuff is going to kind of come back down again. It might not be a super huge drop like this. Right, that's a really, really, really big drop right there. But it might be more of a drop kind of like this right here. Like maybe we do have a decent drop in the next coming days if Foot Birthday is released. I think that's the biggest caveat though. If we don't have Foot Birthday, then this market's probably just gonna continue to chill and kind of just fluctuate where it is and not have any huge movements unless we get big time content. But once that Foot Birthday loading screen is released and put out, that is when I do think you will start to see uh, some quote unquote selling and some a little bit of panic maybe because I feel like that's just what everybody's waiting on right now. So wow, this Mbappe is low today, 1-7. I think people are worried about the player of the month. Mbappe that could be either coming today or on Thursday. I think it's either of those two days. I think there's a lot of worry about that. So keep an eye on like Mbappe, Ben Yedder, and Depay special cards just in case they do or do not win. There might be a potential bounce back if the market's still feeling kind of healthy. Like if we haven't had any big time SBCs when that player of the month SBC drops or if we haven't had a um, loading screen yet for foot birthday, I would 100% keep an eye on some of these guys like uh, Ben Yedder's specials and the Mbappe uh, specials because if they either of them do not win POTM, they still link to each other. So they might go back up a little bit with people that do player of the month when that does happen. So yeah, that's kind of what's going on in FIFA right now, to be honest. It's another one of those weeks where if you're trying to grind objectives when with there's a not when there is not a lot going on, 
This week is an incredible week to really grind some objectives. Mega matchup. I don't know what this is, but you get a rare mega pack. Nice. That must be new. I did not see that. But like icon swaps for me is something that I'm still kind of working on. Um, you know, I've got icon swaps, one of four done here. I can get into my squad battles games. Uh, La Liga, I have not done any of those yet, or One Nation. So, like, this is a really good week to grind objectives if you're not sure what to do, if you still have some of these that you want to get done. Uh, I know it's gameplay, but Icon Swaps, of course, those 81 times 25, 82 times 25, and 83 times 25 are going to be so, so clutch during foot birthday. If they drop a sick team, which I feel like the, the possibility of that is high, um, we are getting more Icon Swap tokens in, like, two weeks so the first nine swap tokens, if you do want to kind of split them out, I'm probably going to go for the 82 times 25 and the 83 if I do get all my tokens done. I think right now I have two tokens, so I could get the 81 times 25 or maybe I have three. Anyways, uh, but I'll probably try to get one of these or two of these uh, in a little bit of free time this week just because um, right now when there's not a lot going on, that's a fantastic thing to do to kind of catch up. So Yes, you can still trade in this market as well, right? You can still fluctuation trade. These cards are moving up and down because they're rare. People are trying them out. You know, you've got the Champions League games today. There's going to be fluctuations and a lot of eyes on those cards. You know, you've got just rare cards in general, like these Foot Freeze. Chiellini is a guy that bounces around a lot because of the links that he has. What is it, like 180K right now? But he's usually fluctuating up to almost 190, I think, at some points. Maybe not quite 190, but maybe uh, somewhere in like the mid to 180s because this card is rare, right? But people like it. They use him. He's got interesting links. 172, right? You can probably sell this in the mid to 180s at some point during the day. You find, you find one snipe at 165 and you're getting yourself some really, really good profit. Also, maybe position change trade right there with the striker, Chiellini. You never know. So when the market is kind of in this spot like that, you can definitely kind of trade with those things. And then daily trade, right? Yesterday, we had the Busquets that came out. And probably, if you're into this stuff, you could have bought this Dest. How much is Serginho Dest right now? Dest is 385,000 coins, or 370 right there in a little undercut. I'm pretty sure yesterday when Boots gets dropped that this guy was 350,000 coins. So if you're into that sort of stuff, if you see that an SBC drops and it's a very hyped SBC, it's a decent value card, and it's a card that a lot of people might want to go after. I mean, I don't really even know if I can flip this 371 for profit. If I saw a 360, I'd do it, but... Um, you can buy cards that link to those brand new SBCs right away and try to flip them and try to trade them. So yeah, I just wanted to make this video. I know there's not a lot going on. There's not a ton to talk about. We'll see what happens today on Tuesday. Um, but I feel like this market is just kind of maybe on thin ice. I expect it to go down before it would go up because yes, there's a lot of saved up packs, but I feel like it's got to, we have to wait until people open their saved up packs with a foot birthday promo coming to see a bit of a rise again on this game because there are, are going to be a lot of saved up packs for whatever promo comes next it, whether it's foot birthday or whether it's not that is one thing that is for sure i mean shoot i even have 10 packs sitting here in the store uh ready to go the next time a promo drops so that's a lot of people on the game and that's again just a testament to how i feel people are like waiting right now on this game for content to drop so Again, that's kind of where I feel like this stuff is headed right now, down before up on the market. So that's why I took all the coins and the stuff, even though I had a small loss on Zola. Uh, I took the coins on a lot of this stuff. I still have my Sancho. I'm going to see if I can hold on to that a little bit further and hopefully not lose many coins on that. Hopefully there's a bit of hype when he gets his upgrade, but we will see. But I got rid of all my stuff because I just want to be liquid, right? Because this week I'm going to do a little bit of fluctuation trading, maybe trade some icons a bit. But um, I don't want to be invested in anything because I just don't know what is going to be coming. And of course, I feel like this market is a little bit on thin ice. I feel like it's going to go down before it goes back up. So that's the video for today, boys. If you did enjoy, hit a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Photocount. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.